Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maggie and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPad video. So I got this case from Amazon and if you would like to get one too, I'll link it down in the description box below. Other than that, I literally don't have anything else to say. So let's just get right into it. First, I'm going to go over the basics or the specs. So I have the iPad 8th generation in 36 gigabytes, I believe. I just did an unboxing, so definitely feel free to go check that out. I'll link that into the cards right about now. And with that, I also got the first generation Apple Pencil. I also included this in the unboxing video, so feel free to check that out as well. Okay, now let's get to the actual iPad tour. So this is the wallpaper that I use. If you saw my MacBook video, you'll notice that it's the same wallpaper. I do this just for simplicity's sake and I like how it matches. So to start, I'm going to go over the widgets section. Right on top, I have a calendar widget. This just gives me at a glance you know what day of the year of the month of the week is and I can see what events I have going on that day then I have this battery widget I mainly use this to know when I need to charge my Apple pencil and when you scroll down I just have the top headlines I don't read the news that often but it's good to just know the main things that are happening in this world now moving on to the main area of my iPad my top row is pretty self-explanatory I've got FaceTime, Calendar. I do use Apple Calendar instead of any other calendar. I've tried Google Calendar, but at the end of the day, I like the Apple interface better. I use this to schedule my classes, events, anything that's going on with my day. And then I have Google Photos. I use this as a literal archive of my entire life. I have albums categorized into the years, and I like how it's on the cloud. So if I ever want to refer back to a moment, I can just quickly pull it out. And right next to that, I have Apple Photos. I only use this to make thumbnails. So what I do is I go into edit and then I go into the three dots and I click markup and it gives you a set of basic tools and colors and I just use that to basically mark up the picture that I want to use as my thumbnail. Then I have camera and photo booth. I'm not going to go into detail with these two because they're pretty straightforward, but I do have a calculator app because surprisingly the iPad doesn't come with a calculator app, so I had to download my own. And then I have clock, app store, and these three are kind of like for my supplementary learning. LinkedIn learning is basically my version of Skillshare because I get this for free with my school account. So it's just a database of a whole bunch of interesting courses. It's got everything from filmmaking to computer and neck stretches to even how to create and manage a YouTube channel. Then I have the Duolingo app. It's basically a language learning app and I use it to brush up on my Chinese. And the last one in this trio is called Libby. So this is kind of my version of Kindle and Audible mixed together. It's connected with my public library so I can borrow eBooks and audiobooks for free. Now moving on to my third row. This is my productivity and school related section. So first I have reminders which I never use. Then I have notes. So right now I'm actually just using the regular notes app. I've heard about Good Notes 6 and Notability. I still haven't made a choice yet. So if you have any recommendations on which one I should use, definitely leave them in the comments. I do gotta say I absolutely love digital note taking. It's so much better than writing on paper, at least in my opinion. I also really like how you can literally move the text. So if you made a mistake or if you want to move certain letters around, you have the option to do that. Next, I have iBooks. I use this to access all my e-textbooks and I also use it to annotate and do all that fun stuff. Then I have the bookshelf app. I use this interchangeably with iBooks because some of my textbooks only work through the bookshelf app. So this is the app that I use to access my school things. So I can look at lecture materials and see if there's any assignments that are coming up. And last but not least, the infamous Zoom. I don't think this one needs an explanation. So here you go. 
And now moving on to the more fun parts of this iPad, I have the Tasty app and I use this as a giant recipe book and I love using it on the iPad because when I'm baking or cooking, it feels very interactive. Then I have Messenger and WeChat. I use these two to communicate with others and if you're unfamiliar with WeChat, it's basically the it social media of Asia. I do have a lot of relatives in Asia so this is what I use to communicate with them and keep up to date. And now welcome to my entertainment folder. So I use Netflix, Viki, and YouTube interchangeably. I either have a Netflix subscription active or a Viki subscription active, never both. So I don't have a active Netflix subscription right now, but these are my top three favorite shows. So if you haven't seen these yet, definitely go check it out. So because my Netflix is not active right now, that means my Viki is. And right now I'm watching Touch Your Heart because I'm still heartbroken after Goblin. In in terms of recommendations, these are my top three shows. So again, if you haven't seen these, definitely go watch it. And then I have Among Us. This is the only game that's on my iPad. Next, I have settings and a miscellaneous folder of things that I don't really use but also won't delete just yet. So I kind of just keep it to the side like that. And now moving on to the dock section of my iPad, I have a digital planner. As you can see, I don't use this a lot. I mainly just use this during exam periods or midterms when I have a lot of deadlines and assignments coming up and it's a good way to organize my time. And speaking of planning, I have Notion. So I only use this for YouTube to kind of plan video ideas and set deadlines, but I primarily just use Apple Calendar to plan out everything else. Then I have Mail, Safari, and last but not least, Spotify. I love using Spotify on my iPad. I love how it looks full screen. Some of my top playlists are the Peaceful Piano, Chill Hits, and your favorite coffee house. So as you can see, I really like chill music. And also I've been listening to my friend Grace's Let's Grab Coffee podcast, and I really like it. So I would totally recommend you guys go check it out as well. And that brings us to the end of this what's on my ipad video thank you so much for watching if you like this video definitely be sure to leave a thumbs up because it will help me out a lot and if you want to see more of this you already know what to do be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so that you get notified every time i post i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one bye